Hello, my name is Pastor Mike, and I want to welcome you to today's good news. Well, today we're continuing with our devotional series through Proverbs chapter 1. And in the verse today, the author, Solomon, is going to warn us about taking bad advice. Have any of you ever listened to bad advice? I have to confess, throughout my life, I've listened to a lot of bad advice. I remember one time when I was a kid, I was about eight years old, and we lived at the bottom of a big, giant hill. And I'm sitting at the top of that hill on my Hot Wheels next to my crazy wild friend that would do anything. And I remember the last words he shared with me. Let's ride down the hill. No one's going to get hurt. So our friend, my friend goes flying down that hill. And at the bottom, he lands. He's like, it's so fun. Go for it. Well, I was kind of scared. But I listened to this bad advice. And I started going. And the wheels were spinning. My feet were off. And I finally had to bail out for my life. And guess where I landed? Right in a cactus. Man, I wish I wouldn't have listened to that bad advice. Well, today in our verse, Solomon's going to warn us about listening to bad advice. Our verse today is Proverbs 1, verse 11. Would you read Proverbs 1, 11 with me or, or just listen in? Solomon writes this, If they say, Come with us, let us lie in wait to shed blood. Let us lurk secretly for the innocent without cause. Solomon was the president, the king, the ruler of the most powerful nation in the world at that time in Israel. And the kings also were in charge of the, the military. So you know, every day people were coming in giving Solomon good advice and bad advice. Much of the advice was violent. And that's what Solomon brings up right here in our Bible text. Some guys would come in and say, hey, let's go raid that country and steal all of their women and children and livestock. Hey, let's go murder your enemies and, and let's go overtake and steal everything that they've got and get rich as off their things. Friends, every single day, you're going to have some good advice and bad advice coming your way. Every single day, you're going to hear some good wisdom and some bad wisdom. But here's what we need to do today. We need to be ignoring the bad advice like Solomon heard here and listening and receiving for the good wisdom and the good advice. Let me share with you some good news. Jesus has plenty of good wisdom and good advice he wants to share with you. One of my favorite verses is John 10, 27. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice. That's God's will for you today, to hear the voice of Jesus. And let me tell you, God still speaks today. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? I know you believe that. And let me remind you as we finish up, of four ways that God wants to speak to you today. Four ways for you to hear the advice, the wisdom of God. Number one, the Holy Spirit. The Bible teaches the moment you were born again, you were sealed with the Spirit. The, the Spirit speaks in a still, small voice. And we need to be listening and filled with the Spirit. The first way God speaks is through the Holy Spirit. The second way God speaks is directly through His Word. Jesus said, Your Word is truth, Father. This Bible that you have in front of you, that phone with the text, guys, that is a pure wisdom and pure advice from the Lord. One of the best ways that I hear from the Lord is each morning I do my daily devos. Are you doing your daily devos every day? Yesterday, man, I, I got up a little late and I ran out of the house without doing my devos and I, I'm, I'm going to catch up on my devos. I have 284 days straight, not missing one day of my devos. But guess what? The day got busy. The Lakers are on. And in the middle of the Laker game, I get a little message on my phone. Mike, 283 straight days of devos. Don't blow it. Make sure you get on your Bible. So I paused that Laker win, and I went out, and I did my 15 minutes of devos and came back. So the second way God speaks is directly through his word. The third way, Christian friends. You know, all of us have some Christian friends. When we're going through things, don't go through it alone. Ask them for their godly advice and wisdom. The fourth way, God wants to speak to you right through his word here at your church. Thank you, friends, for being faithful in our local church. Every weekend, every time we gather, God wants to speak to you through the preaching of the word. As you have a heart open, you are going to hear the wisdom, the advice of God every single day. I want to encourage you today. Ignore the bad wisdom. Listen to the good wisdom. 
And that's today's good news.